Hi there. So, you're looking to self-publish your book and you want to know about how to market it. If you wanting to plan an outline for your marketing strategy, this video is a good start. Hi there. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Lisa Oliver and I have been self-publishing my books for the past eight years. During that time, I have written roughly 80 plus um, English titles. Some of my books have been translated in French, German and Spanish. I have books on, some of my books have been narrated for audio and I um, make a comfortable six-figure income um, every year writing books such as the Cloverly Pack series, Stockton Wool series, The Gods Made Me Do It, Alphas and Amiga, so many books and uh, as well as some really awesome collaborations. In fact, I think it's tomorrow, uh, book two of the Tangled Tentacles series comes out, which is a series I'm writing with the wonderful author J.P. Sale and uh, we're already halfway through book three. So yeah, this is becoming a really exciting um, series. But anyway, let's talk about your book or more specifically how we can go about marketing your book because you could have written the best book in the world, have the most amazing cover in the world, have written a blurb that incites the senses. But if people don't know where your sales page is, they're not going to even think about buying your book. So the first thing to remember and the cardinal rule is that social media is your friend. I know a lot of us don't like it. We actually prefer to be spending our time writing. But honestly, marketing your book is as important as your next book. So you need at minimum at least to social media channels. Pick your choice. Um, I have more because I've been around a bit longer, but you want on minimum, you want Facebook. I know a lot of us don't like it, um, but Facebook has group the group functions and that's important. If you really can't stomach it, you can try to build your platform on MeWe. Uh, Twitter is another good one. Uh, Instagram, obviously, if you've, you know, and you can do some graphic things of what you're, um, of what you've been writing. And, but yes, you need to have a plat, you need to be across these platforms. And your messaging, marketing, and the way you present yourself on these platforms needs to be consistent. The other things that you will also need is a website and a newsletter. Um, you can, we will, will be going into these different uh, elements in depth in later videos. But for now, look at things like uh, MailChimp. Who have I got mine through? Uh, I think my newsletter's through Mad Mimi. Um, there are a whole range of different options, but you need somewhere, some way of your readers getting in touch with you. Okay, but that's actually getting a little ahead of ourselves. There are various things you need to do in your marketing before you've even finished the book. And most of this is networking and it's stuff that can be done online for free. So you obviously you're going to have, say, for example, you're going to have your Facebook profile. You're going to have a Facebook page for your business. Your, I have a Facebook group for my readers as well, although that's not mandatory. If this is only your first book that you're putting out, then don't worry about that quite so much at the moment. But definitely can definitely sign up for other groups. Groups, groups, groups. What's she talking about? Groups. You want to network with your readers. And the way to do that is to network with your authors in your genre. So number one, friend authors in your genre. Find them on Facebook, send them a friend request. Don't be thinking, oh my God, no, they're not going to want to hear from me. Believe me, authors love friend requests. Do that. Next thing, your genre. 
I don't care what it is. Let's pretend it's romance. So find reader groups romance on Facebook. You're searching in Facebook for this. Look for author groups or romance author groups. Find them. Join them and participate in them. Yes, I know you're still writing your book. But the networking you do now will make a huge difference to your sales numbers when they, your book first comes out. So get in there. Become active in your community because you know what? You're writing. You're an author now. This is your community. And join with reader groups because you read in the genre you're writing in, obviously. So you've got every reason to be there and learn. Listen, read, learn. Look what other authors are doing. Look at what some of your favourite authors are doing. Look at the way they market their books and how they build the hype before the book is even out. They build that excitement level. And look at the, how they're doing that and look at how you can do that for yourself and for your fourth, first book. Launch day. You've come to launch day. And your book has gone out. What are you doing? Hopefully by now you've already done a cover reveal. You've been through all the promotion groups. This is where, and then Facebook has groups for this too. That is the one redeeming feature for Facebook is the fact that they do groups. And there are, this is where you start promoting in the reader groups that you are a part of. Um, in the promotion groups that you're a part of, and if it's appropriate, in the author groups that you're a part of. Do not spam. But this is where you start pushing your link. See, the thing is, is Amazon, let's pretend you're doing that, but probably any platform that you're on is going to give you a shiny new sales page. But they're not going to send traffic to it. You have to send the traffic to it. So grab the link of that fancy sales page and start plastering it wherever it's appropriate. And this is really important. Do not get done for spam. Because you've got to remember a writing career is long term. It's not a five minute blooming get rich quick scheme. If you've come into it doing thinking that, go and do something else. Because honestly, you're wasting your time. For a start, it takes Amazon two months to pay you. Now, anyway. We're getting back to promoting. So you need to set the groundwork. This is your first book. There's going to be a lot more coming. So lay the groundwork. Be respectful. You've put your time in before you'd finished your book by being active in groups, listening, offering advice, asking questions, doing all those things. And now it's your turn as, a, as an author to say, well, hey, I am so excited because my new book's out. And then let your friends, your author friends, your reader friends celebrate with you. And that's how you get sales. So plaster everywhere. Do a schedule. Now, look, I don't know what the Facebook algorithm is for um, picking up spam. I know that my PA um, promotes across 50 books, uh, 50 groups a week when I've got a new release coming out and she does 10 groups a day so she uses the same post she posts it in 10 groups a day the next day she posts in another 10 and so on and so on do not take that number as absolute I have known people who have been suspended for posting in five groups I have been told to stop writing thank you one year I think it was last year on Facebook I was responding to birthday messages and I decided I was going to freaking respond personally to all of the birthday messages I got. And Facebook came up and told me that I was on like an hour timeout thing. I wasn't allowed to keep posting because I was saying thank you. So they have triggers. The site has triggers. I don't know what they are, but... Make sure you skate under them and do not promote your book where it doesn't belong because that is the fastest way to get yourself kicked out of groups and to get yourself a bad name. All right, so 
This is what you're doing on release week. And for at least two weeks afterwards, promote to roughly 10 groups a day. But as I say, don't take that as a gospel and be promoting every single day. Make sure you've got some teaser graphics for your books or some text teasers or whatever else. Make up some little video teasers, trailers and things for your book. Put them on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere you possibly can. You want to drive traffic to your book link. So that's what you do during your book launch, which is stage two. And then after that, stage three, you are maintaining that by you see by the time you're two weeks into marketing book one you should already be writing book two so you know and it's uh, once you've finished you know you sort of it, and it's sort of it ebbs and flows that's what a writing career a self-published writing career is sort of like so you have book one um it's easy to describe my schedule because I know what I do with mine and it seems to work but so two weeks prior to my book going out, um, I'll start with coming soon graphics. And then two weeks, two to three weeks while the book has, after the book has been released, is out now graphics. And then I start moving on to the next book. So it's coming soon for the next book. And so depending on how much time there is between your releases is, you know, how you will space out your marketing. Another thing to consider is doing things like uh, throwback days. So if you have a backlist, you can promote some of your older books. When your new book's coming out, one of the things that you can do if it's part of a series um, is to promote the first book and tell your readers it's time for a reread because book three, four, five or whatever. For example, um, my balance book five uh, has come out in the last week and the week before my PA put out a post to all my readers about that it was time for a reread for the balance series because book five was coming. And my readers really appreciate that because they like to reread get their head into the story and then bam, they've already pre-ordered book five and away they go to read that too. Um, incidentally, when we're talking about, you know, the this, this schedule and writing, things like this, um, one of the best ways to advertise your books is your next book and writing in a series. When you write in a series, you are generating excitement um, and familiarity with a particular group of uh, characters and your readers will fall in love with them or hate them or whatever it is that they're meant to do. And because they have feelings for them, they will anticipate the next book for them. So your next book is your best advert, your best marketing tool. So you need to keep writing while you're doing this process. Apart from that, there are so many other things. I tried to keep this really short because I wanted to just create a bit of a framework for you so that I can go into some of these other things in more detail. But in the beginning, while you're writing your book, you want to be networking. You want to be meeting and chatting with authors. You want to be meeting and chatting with readers who enjoy the same sorts of books as you do. You want to be an active part of the community. Um, I would set aside an hour a day, honestly, to interact with people so that your name sort of, you know, becomes familiar in these groups and, and, and the groups that you've joined on Facebook. And you'll be amazed at how much of a difference that makes when your book comes out. Um, there are so many other little things. Um, oh, like ways of getting people to sign up for your newsletter, participating in author events. Um, but you need the basics. You need the basics down now. I mean, writing writing is a solitary profession, right? But selling your work is a community event. It's a, you need, it's, it's like any other business. 
you need to network. You cannot sit in your little cave, I'm afraid, and just keep writing. Believe me, after eight years, I still wish I could. But then by the same token, I've had some of my biggest blessings from my readers, and I'm not going to shy away from that. And that's the sort of joy um, in the comments, in the emails that get sent to you, in the responses to your newsletters, um, and the you know the responses to your post, and your readers will let you know how much your latest book has made their day. Those are a blessing. They're little marketing gems, because not because you reuse them or exploit them, but because they give you, the author, the confidence, and the excitement to keep going. Because on those days when it's tough. Knowing somebody else is eagerly awaiting your book is a really awesome incentive to keep writing. So I hope this little video has kind of helped you. What I'm basically doing is I'm introducing the topic of marketing your self-published books. It would be really awesome if you've read, if you've listened to this and you've got questions, as I'm sure you have, please put them in the comments below and and ask and, and let me know what areas of marketing you want the most um, advice on because I will create videos for that. So if you can do that, that would be really awesome. Um, if you're keen on my genre of books, the links for our two new releases are in the description. Um, it would really, really help me uh, my YouTube channel, if you hit the like and subscribe button, because it doesn't cost you anything. And I put out roughly two to three videos every week um, because I want to help you become a full-time author like I am. And um, it really is an awesome life. So, but I have to wind this up because this one's long as well. Gosh, I'm not doing very well with this today. But... Please stay safe. Please keep writing. As always, hug the ones you love and I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Take care.